going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about innovation. And when it comes to gaming, innovation is all around us. The amazing thing about creating video games and us being able to play them is that developers draw inspiration from other developers, from other games, and ultimately it benefits the gamer tenfold. And now we're going to talk about God of War, the reboot or the next game in the anthology and where they could potentially be drawing their inspiration from for crafting this amazing looking game. I'll drop a link in the description. God of War update, PlayStation 4 exclusive, might do an Uncharted 4 and add scenes from older games. God of War fans might get the chance to play classic stages and the new engine on the PlayStation 4. PS4 exclusive God of War may let users play classic sequences from older games in the series. The upcoming action game features a fresh setting and completely new style, which should lead to some interesting and exciting new gameplay opportunities. Much in the same way that Naughty Dog brought Crash Bandicoot back in Uncharted 4, the God of War studio is toying with the idea of remaking old levels with a new engine. That's according to God of War writer and director Corey Barlog, who revealed the information in an interview with EPN via Gaming Bowl. Quote, Maybe players could end up playing scenes from previous games in the new engine of God of War. I don't know, end quote. Barlog also compared the upcoming release to Resident Evil 4, and he said he was happy for the games to be likened to The Last of Us. Quote, The Last of Us is an amazing game. Naughty Dog is an unbelievably talented team, and to be compared to them is awesome. But for me, the influence is a lot more like the transition from Resident Evil 3 to Resident Evil 4. End quote. Barlock finished by saying that these are exciting stories for creators to tell. And the expansion of the audience being ready for more mature stories, and not mature as in mature, but really as in dramatically challenging people to dig deeper, not handing them all the answers. Yeah, The Last of Us did pave a way for that, and I feel like I'm happy for that. It feels like we're entering an era where gamers are longing for this, end quote. The new God of War was fully unveiled by Sony at this year's E3. The upcoming release moves away from ancient Greece and into a Norse setting. It was recently revealed that God of War is a big game and not an open world title. Kratos, who sports a new look, will also be joined by his son. So uh, this is awesome news, man. Uh, I think if a developer is going to take inspiration from any games, uh, that these two games would probably be somewhere near the top of the list. Resident Evil 4 was a pure, perfect sign of how you can take a game, turn it on its side, create something new, something even better but in a whole different engine and a whole different style. I love the original Resident Evil games, 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica, but when 4 came out, it really did uh, change the world for the time. It was unbelievable that they were able to do that with the series, and the fact that they, they're seeing this God of War as a transition like that says a lot for the gamer, and the fact that they're making this game, there's, there's more layers to the characters, more layers to the story, and it's a more mature setting, as in The Last of Us, uh, they want the, the gamer to experience emotion and, and, and really uh, go into a deep thought process through the play of this game. I think that's an awesome thing to shoot for. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. The, the focal point of this story is that they're toying with the idea of bringing old God of War levels back to the new God of War and a new engine. To me, that's okay. That's a cool, cool little side note for the story. But for me, the real interesting aspect of the story is where they're drawing their inspiration. They're drawing their inspiration from games like The Last of Us and games like Resident Evil 4, and that's really awesome. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm The Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.